So we're going to be taking a break from some of the other stuff that we've been working on, like the carburetor, and we're going to fit this OBS seat into Project Dale. So stay tuned. So the first thing we got to do is we've got to get the old seat out of Dale. There's only four 916 bolts to hold them, two in the front and uh, two in the back. So we're going to go grab the air tools and we will drag this seat out of here. In case you haven't noticed already, this part of the video is being voice over because for some reason my microphone isn't working on my GoPro and I think it has something to do with the SD card. Nevertheless, I was able to get the bench seat out, the old bench seat, uh, by myself and it took a little bit of finagling because the brackets kept getting hung up on the carpet. Um, but once I was able to kind of get some uh, leverage and get a handle on things, it was fairly simple. I just picked it up and uh, took it to the back of the truck. So now that we've got the seat out, I was saying here that we are just going to kind of get this thing all cleaned up and vacuumed out and ready for the new seat to come in. And we want to be able to reuse the same holes uh, and brackets from the original seat on the OBS seat. So this is the new old OBS seat that came out of a 90s Chevy truck and it's in really good condition and it's very clean. So one of the things that I was hoping to be able to do is reuse the seat belts but they're a little bit different setup not this part but the actual seat belt itself. So we're going to continue to use the ones that are in the truck now. We will come back to this at a later date. And this is the worst part on the whole truck right here is this little tear in the headrest. And I think I might be able to do something with that, uh, with maybe some shoe goo or something like that. But other than that, the, the seat is in really good shape and it's going to be comfortable. It's got some uh, lumbar support. Uh, it's a little bit wider in the front and it should be good for long trips, uh, which is what we're kind of building this truck for. So. Uh, we're going to get uh, this thing flipped over, we'll get the bracket taken off the bottom and then we will start switching things off of the old seat onto the new one. So we've got the seat flipped upside down, we've got four 10 millimeter bolts that we've got to take out to remove this bracket. There's one here and one over here and then there's a couple of other ones underneath the track which we're going to have to move uh, to get at those. So I'm going to grab some air tools and we'll attack this thing and then we can start getting the brackets off the old seat, put them on the new one. bracket off and we now see our holes where the mounting points were for the old bracket and uh, what we've got to be able to do is take the brackets off of the old seat and try and make those brackets there line up with the holes that are on the OBS seat. Uh, we want to make sure that they're in line so that everything fits the holes that are in the floor and uh, we don't have any issues with the seat rocking or breaking anything once it's in. So we're going to get these uh, taken off here and we're going to try and utilize as much of the framework and the existing holes that's there as possible and uh, then we can start kind of fabricating uh, some things up. So let's get those off. So now we've got the seat brackets off and just kind of mocked up in the place because one hole does fit and uh, it's already kind of in place right here and we'll have to drill a hole in the framework down below to match that to give it some more support. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make a bracket uh, up here to line up possibly with that hole and the existing one so that uh, we have very minimal fabrication that we have to do. I'm going to take this piece of angle iron right here and we are going to use it uh, as uh, smaller pieces, mount it through that hole existing on the framework and weld it to the original seat bracket uh, and so basically we should be able to mount it like this 
All right, so we've got our brackets cut, our holes drilled, and we've come across our first well, little snafu, but we, we come up with a quick solution for it as well. Initially, this bracket was meant to be spun around 180 degrees so that we could weld along this edge. Well, what it did was it didn't line up this hole with this hole, which right now, as you can see, it does. It was causing us to have to pull this in that way too far, which meant it was pu pulling this and this too close together. I took a quick measurement of the mounting holes in the rear on the floor. It's 47 inches on center, right direct to each one of these. If I mount that bracket this way and just weld it along the edge, we will be fine because now we've got 47 inches down here and we've got 47 inches up here. It's time to go grab the welder and start mocking up these brackets. All right, we've got our bracket welded on. We've got it mocked back up in place. and Everything seems to be lining up pretty good. Um, so all we got left to do is just kind of drill a hole in this bottom uh, piece of the framework here and get a nut and bolt in there and this side will be done. So all we got to do is duplicate the process over here and then we should be able to mount the seat back in the truck. So let's get that done. Okay, let's show you where we are so far. We've got both brackets fabricated up and they're bolted to the seat. Everything is good. We've got our 47 inches from center to center on each one. Actually, we're a little bit off, but this piece right here kind of has enough movement in there to get us that extra quarter of an inch uh, on both sides there, or eighth, maybe, maybe a sixteenth or a thirty-second. We're pretty close. Anyways, so now it's time to uh, get this um, this extra hole drilled here on both sides and a nut and bolt down through it. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Turn it from red to gray and hit the bell notification. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And once we reach 5,000 subscribers, we're blowing up a car. And if you don't remember, or if you've not been around since the last time we blew up a car, I'm gonna put that link right here. Let's get to getting this thing finished up and put back in the truck. seat installed 100% into our square body truck and one thing I do like about these seats is that I don't have to unlock the seat back to access in behind the seat because on those square bodies you had that little latch and sometimes they would stick and you get one side unlocked and not the other but now we've got this and this is in here just about perfect it could go back a little bit more but nevertheless I think it is just about perfect for this truck it's comfortable and if anything, it's kind of leaning back, maybe a little bit more based on the fact that I, the way I welded those brackets, but it's comfortable. I, I feel like uh, I could take off anywheres and uh, not have to worry about fatigue in this truck. So that's how you install an OBS seat into a square body truck um, with minimal effort. It really didn't take me that long, maybe in total Oh, probably about an hour, hour and 15 minutes maybe. And I spent half that time running inside just uh, trying to get cooled down in the air conditioning. It's a muggy day out here today. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little bit and one more upgrade to Dale the truck. And uh, from here on out, we're going to be puttering away at just some little fine-tuning things like trying to get that really low idle fixed uh, on the carburetor. I do have a throttle actuator coming for that. Um, which is going to help with that and uh, you know just some minor touch-ups we do have some pinstriping getting done to the truck here in the next uh, little bit and that'll be a future video so stay tuned for that guys also don't forget the car guy and six fan show live stream is Thursday evenings I'm gonna put the link right up here to Grant Tommy who is street six fan and he's my co-host and we alternate every other week on who hosts it and uh, we also have some very special guests coming up on the show so I hope you uh, tune into that. It's just a bunch of car guys talking cars, um, you know, and it's only a half an hour show. So you don't want to miss the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. And I'm gonna get myself out of here and get things cleaned up. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.